Hey everybody, I have brought you to a fantastic place. This is called Treasures in the Ponds, and it's located in Spruce Pond, North Carolina, and I'll list their contact information in the description box below, but this is such a fun place. It's an emporium top store. They've got a little bit of something for everybody. It's full of dishes, furniture, quilts, pillows, tons of decor items, great nostalgic fonts, so I can't wait for us to get inside and see what we can find. And I have a surprise. Hey, Mom. So she's going to be in our video a few times coming up. They have these great t-shirts that says, Friends Don't Let Friends Go Junkin' Alone. <laughs> I like that. And I think these t-shirts were all $20 each. And if it's vintage, chippy, rusty, or shabby, I want it. That sounds like me. And for the love of junk, let's see. Reuse, repurpose, rescue. Oh, that's so true. And this is one of those stores you can make 10 laps through and see something different each time. Oh, I was really drawn to these lamps. And we've seen some of these fancy Robert Abbey lamps at the ReStores before. Oh, look at that. And here's an Art Deco silver plate candle holder. I think that was $30. And I love their pictures. And these were actually 30% off. I love this bunny with the flowers in its hair. And they had tons of faux flowers here. I like those sunflowers. Do y'all like that? I think that'd be so pretty on your table for spring or summer. Oh, and you know we got to look at the quilts. Look at that with the Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh, that one's pretty. That looks like a wedding ring quilt. And I think all those quilts were $129. And that one's really nice. Look at that. It's got some cross stitching on it. I love old quilts. Do y'all like that? And here's some embroidered tea towels, $5. Oh, that's just so cute, so kitschy. I was so pleasantly surprised. They have some soft surrounding pieces. This jacket's only $33. And they've got some cashmere wraps and scarves. They had a special on it. I think went as low as $24. Oh, I like the blue. Oh, and I like this sign. It says, this is the beginning of a new day. You have been given this day to use as you will. You can waste it or use it for good. What you do today is important because you are exchanging a day of your life for it. When tomorrow comes, it will be gone forever. In its place will be something you have left behind. Let it be something good. I oh, love that. And I hope it is a great day for everybody out there. And they have tons of pillows here. You know I love to look at the pillows, so we got to take a look. Happy Easter, Farm Fresh, I love the little cow, Spread Connors, that might be my favorite. Oh, and look at the little goat. So $16.50. And the bunnies, oh, 
They just get me every time. So this was $26 with 30 more percent off. And the bear, look at that sweet little bear. Now I'd be nervous hiking if I saw that, but so cute in that picture. And this is mercury glass, so $7. I don't think we could find it that cheap at our discount stores. $9 for the larger one. Oh, and I really like this one. $8. I love the net on it. I want a fancy leopard print tray. $17. And there's a mirror coming up. I can't wait for you to see this. And y'all know I love any fancy dishware. So this was made in Germany. And I think it said $14. Oh, and I love the bunnies. $7 per bunny. Oh, and it says, so excited it's spring. We wet our plants. <laughs> I love that. And you know, if you're looking for a gift, maybe for a baby shower, look at this, $8 for that sweet pillow. And I hope you can see that's like some type of applique. And these mugs with the daisies caught my eye, $10 for all four mugs. And this is the cutest book I saw. So it's called A Deluxe Book of Flower Fairies. I think this would be perfect. They've got it here for $12 to take and tear out the pages and frame them in a baby's room. Wouldn't that be pretty in a grouping? Of course, I love the purple. <laughs> And here's some frosted blue glass lamps. They're $20 each. Oh, and yes, we're much too young to be this old. <laughs> I think that every day. And this pillow is so sweet, $9. Hello, sunshine. Isn't this fun? Just something a little bit different, but I gotta tell you, I went back to my restore today and I've got a great video coming up for that. Oh, here's that mirror I was talking about. Look at that zebra print. I did not see a price on that, but how fabulous is that? I love anything that's just a little bit unique or different. And here's a wicker table for $74. And you know I love blue and white dishes. These are actually Melame dishes. You got all three pieces for $7. Oh, and I like that large platter to match it. And this dresser is so fabulous. So they've got it priced, I think, at $600. It's a vintage piece. And I actually found one at the ReStore today, but it was already sold. Look at this. Do y'all have furniture like this at your house? I'm so drawn to pieces of furniture like this. This looks like some type of marble. That piece will probably last forever. I'm telling you, they do not make furniture like this nowadays.
They've got this listed as a scrap pill, but they said it'd be pretty as a utensil holder, and I totally agree. They've got this here for $40. And we've run across some of these Fenton hobnail glass lamps at the ReStores before, and both of these are electric. They were $30 each. And I like this vintage inspired poster, it's $12. And I thought these little fairy dolls were adorable. They would match that fairy book that we just saw. And y'all know I love anything vintage. So these are stickers and they're stickers of old vintage seed packs. I think they were a dollar each. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty maybe to put on a gift instead of a ribbon? And these actually are seed packs. I think that'd be fun to tuck into a card. So a Mother's Day card or oh, for a baby shower. Just something different. And here's a bark hanging vase. Here's 36 pieces of mid-century Salem china ware. They've got it here for $75. And I really love it when I find china that has orange on it. I don't see it that often. So when I run across it, I always love to showcase it. And talk about fancy. Here's a pair of silver plate table pheasants for $45. Here's some Haviland China Limoges pieces from France. You get 19 pieces. These are circa late 1800s. All of these pieces I think were less than $90. Okay, that gift for your friend was everything for $23. You could get them the souvenir Florida Gator thermometer. <laughs> and y'all, I love anything with strawberries on it. This is a bone china cake plate, $20. Oh, I should have bought that. Oh, I have regrets. <laughs> I have regrets. That's pretty. And I just wanted to show y'all some of their pottery pieces. I know I have some viewers out there that love that. Some of the viewers were asking about you. They hadn't seen you in a while. Do you want to give them a little shout out? I love you all. <laughs> Everyone of you. You are so special and so sweet. I don't know you, but I hope you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Mom, you are so funny. So here's some of those Christmas carolers. We'd seen those at the ReStore before. I think these were $12 each. And this green vase just caught my eye. They've got it here for $27. They said it's hand blown. Isn't that fabulous? And here's a Robert Abbey navy and white chevron lamp. It comes with a shade, $55. And they've got two of those. And just some more of their spring pillows, $16. And it's got like a velvety back to it. And I want a tea towel, two fifty. dollars 
And y'all, if you follow my channel, you've probably heard me talk about this before. When I was growing up, my grandmother had apple trees and someone put an old bed spring like this in that apple tree. And we love, love, loved it. We would get up there, climb up, spring on those springs and jump off. So I guess that was our early trampoline. <laughs> I don't know. And I thought these bunny napkin rings were so cute. I didn't see a price on them, but you know it's probably not going to be much. Again, I'll leave the contact information below if you want to call and get a price. And I found some more vintage throwbacks. So here's a display case of the old hickory shoelaces. And I think it actually comes with some shoelaces in it. Do y'all remember those? And this is definitely a throwback. So it's an old, we called it a kitty car. And ours didn't look near as fancy as this. I think ours was blue and rusted. And I have no idea how I fit in it. <laughs> but it was so much fun. Remember those, you'd sit in it, you'd pedal it along. Sometimes you get your legs caught in that thing. <laughs> but it was just so much fun. I don't know if mine had a bell. That one's pretty fancy. And here's some more old toys. So I guess you rode on this truck. It had a steering wheel on the front. And same on that one. I don't know. It looks a little small to be riding on. And there's some more old toys coming up. I can't wait to show you those. Isn't this a fun place? There's mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> she decided to wave twice. She's so much fun. So look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mom, you are so crazy. She wanted to show you that her underwear matched her dress. And she wanted to show us this table, too. So they had it reduced. It's only $100. It's stone and wood. It's got that swirly metal. Isn't that a great deal? Good job, Mom. <laughs> Good find. So I turned around, and I found a basket of these. So it's decoupage rice paper. I didn't see a price on those, but wouldn't that be fun to work with? Y'all will have to let me know, have you ever used anything like that on furniture? And they have tons of these old salt and pepper shakers coming up. This one caught my eye with the birds. And I think that was $15 for both. And here's a middle rooster, $36. Oh, and I really like this large vintage pitcher for $28. Look at that purple on it. And here's some apothecary jars. And this was such a great idea. Look at these sweet little bunnies. $6.50 per bunny. Wouldn't that be perfect again to make for your kids or your grandkids and put in their Easter baskets? And you know I love anything with a bird on it. This bird picture caught my eye. It's only $18. And here's a vintage lamp with the shade. Oh, I love that. I hope you can see there's a little texture on that. And I think that lamp was $45. I love the shade. Look at that burlap shade. And they have tons and tons of Ray Dunn items here. So here's a pet bowl for $12. And look at all their mugs. I woke up like this. Oh, and that's me. Hey, y'all. <laughs> that's definitely me all day long. And what does it say? Gold digger, jelly beans, homes where mom is, stay wild. And it just goes on and on. I see a Nana cup. Crazy love, killing it, serenity, candy hearts. Oh, shout out to New York City. And from me to y'all, so these cups say it all. For Pete's sake, have a happy Easter, y'all. Send in hugs. And these were throwback items. I remember in my grandmother's kitchen, she had golf wax. Do y'all remember that? And she probably had an old box that looked just like that. <laughs> 
and let's see this looks like some type of medicated ointment and it actually felt like it still had some in it oh, all these old band-aid flip up tops do y'all remember having that in your kitchen growing up or maybe you have it And I was looking at this. This looks like maybe an old record, a Thomas Edison record. $12. Huh, who knew they looked like that? Oh, and Prince Albert. I had a grandfather that loved Prince Albert tobacco. We'd always get him that for birthday or Christmas. And here is a birdhouse, $16. Again, it's a Ray Dunn piece. Isn't that sweet with the mushrooms on it? And this is a strawberry ice cream birdhouse. I'd never seen these before. Isn't that adorable? And here's a metal cow birdhouse for $12. And these look like old enamel pots. I think they were $10 each. And they've got some chamber pots back there. That is not a soup tureen. <laughs> old chamber pots. I actually had a grandmother that had one of those. And it says, do you love salt and pepper shakers? Check these out. They had tons and tons of these old vintage salt and pepper shakers. Y'all have to let me know below if you see any here that you had. I love that. The cow, the pig, and the chicken. Six dollars. thought these elephants were adorable. You got the set for 14. And here's some more vintage kitchen items. And if y'all like Ray Dunn, I'm telling you, they have tons and tons more than I'm even showing you here. Here's a vintage tool cabinet. Oh, isn't that great? If you did crafting, wouldn't that be perfect? It was missing one drawer, but you know what? You could be clever, maybe stick some flowers in there. And this is a vintage piggy bank who had one of those. I remember having a little piggy bank. And mine had a stopper in the bottom so you didn't have to break it. And here's some pink depression glass pieces. And I love, love, love the blue. Look at this with the birds on top. I have no idea what I'd do with that, but oh, I thought it was so pretty. $22. And this is a vintage lamp, $195. Very unique. And here's a vase made in Italy, $15. I love that vibrant blue color, and it's so pretty against the green and the orange. Oh, and here's another one, $40. This is a table runner. It kind of gives me a farmhouse vibe. Oh, and I really like this basket, $28. This was another throwback for me. So it's a Tom's peanut jar. Do y'all remember getting like your little crackers and stuff out of that when you go to the dime store? And they had some great stoneware jugs. So this is a brown glazed one, $40. And look at this large one. They've got it marked down to $85. And these spoon rests caught my eye. You got all of these for $7. A 
again, that'd be fancy if you had a coffee bar or a tea bar. And the concept of a chocolate set is kind of new to me. They've got this whole set here for $34. You know, I'm in for it. <laughs> I'm definitely up for chocolate. And y'all know I love anything blue and white, so this is a vintage wash bowl and pitcher. I think that'd be perfect on that furniture we saw back there. And here's some of their painted furniture. I did not get a price on this, but I just had to show you. All right, this is a throwback for me. Who out there remembers gumball machines like this? <laughs> Oh, you'd almost get in trouble, you know, be standing in line at the grocery store. Mom, Mom, can I have a nickel? Can I have a quarter? And finally, she'd relent and you'd get a gumball. <laughs> Here is a vintage salt and pepper shaker set from the 1940s. And here's some more of their vintage toys. It says pump car with pop-up clown. Oh, and the little dog popping out of the hat. And they had some larger artwork pieces, definitely just one of a kind pieces. And this had some texture to it. Isn't that gorgeous? Just that stained glass. Oh, I really love that. Wouldn't that be pretty if you had a large enough window to hang that in just to let the light shine through? Oh, and I love this fantastic deal. So all three of these canisters for $15. Love, love, love that. Oh, and I ran across these enamel pans. I gotta show you these. So $30 for this large one. I'd never seen enamel pans painted like that. And the smaller one's $20. And they had just set this metal dress form out. They've got it listed as garden art, $42. Wouldn't that be pretty in your garden to plant something that just kind of is wispy and grows up through it? And here's a brass colonial clock, $25, and they said it works. And they've got this listed as a Tennessee hotel desk mail cabinet for $375. And here's a vintage Wild Briar Rose ceramic recipe holder, $15. And here's some vintage hats, $16. This was my favorite font here, so it's a vintage cake plate. $30, oh, I love everything about that. hope y'all had fun with me. I'm going to end with this pillow that I found. It says spread kindness and I want y'all to do that today. Go out there and spread kindness. Thank you so much for coming with me and until next time, come go with me today. Bye.